Hello, this is Sean with MedicManus.com. Welcome to part two of my turning your Android phone into an EMS assistant series. Uh, before we begin, I would like to remind you that this is part two. Uh, anything that we do in this video is going to be assuming that you've already read and watched part one of my series. Uh, that can be found on this YouTube channel or at my website, MedicMadness.com, and look under the Android Reviews section. Okay, to begin, there's going to be a couple applications that we need to download before we can move on, um, both of which can be found in the Android market. Uh, one would be the Adobe PDF File Viewer, and the other one would be the Astro File Manager. Uh, be sure to download those before moving on to the next step. Alright, to begin we're going to cover a couple applications that we're going to download and install um, for a full list of applications that I think would be good uh, for use in the EMS field. Um, that can be found on the written version of this tutorial at medicmadness.com. Um, we're going to scroll over to my EMS screen here. Uh, in case you don't already know, adding an application to your desktop is really really easy. Uh, if you've been using an Android phone for any period of time, you probably already know how to do this. Uh, however, I will demonstrate for you right now for those of you that are new to using Android. Um, we're going to click this down here and this is going to bring up our list of applications that we have installed on our computer. Um, I have already downloaded some applications to show you. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail with the applications. Um, I do have reviews of, of them on my website if you want to get more in detail. Uh, the first one we're going to do is the Hippocrates application right here, the blue icon. Um, in order to put this on our desktop, we're just going to click it and hold it, and then you can drag it and place it on your desktop wherever you like. Uh, I prefer to put the, my Hippocrates app up in the upper left corner. Uh, in case you haven't had a chance to use Hippocrates, um, you should check out the review on my website or um, or download it and and check it out. It's really cool. It's an all-in-one tool. It's great for paramedics, great for nurses, uh, great for anyone that's in the medical field. Um, all right, a couple more. We're going to add uh, the Google Translate application right here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to press it and hold it, wait for the uh, menu to disappear, and then slide it right up here to where you want to place it. Now you can obviously put these applications wherever you wish. And the last one here is another really neat app that's really similar to Hippocrates is the uh, Mini Nurse app. Um, this one has a whole bunch of calculators, uh, medical abbreviations. Um, I've used this plenty of times in the field. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, once again, if you want any more details on it, uh, you can go to my website and check it out there. Okay, so these are just a couple applications that we've added. Um, as you can tell, I'm doing this review on my computer, so this is a developer version of Android, and therefore um, not all the applications are available for me to download and demonstrate for you. So if you want to get a full list of the applications that I think you should add, uh, be sure to check out the review on my website. Okay, um, what we're going to do next is we're going to cover adding um, your protocols, uh, which would be assuming that they're in a PDF format to your desktop so that you can easily open it. Um, I'll scroll over to another screen that I already have created where I have this here. Um, you can see I have my protocols listed. Um, when you click on it, it automatically brings up the Adobe Reader program which uh, we covered downloading earlier and this has uh, and this will bring up your protocols. Uh, this is really handy if you need to reference it, if you need to uh, use it as a study material between calls whatever you see fit. Um, as you can see here, if I can get this into sight, these are some pretty loose protocols. Uh, I'm sure that most of you would probably like to work in a system like that, as would I. Anyway, we're going back to our home screen here. I'm going to show you how to add this shortcut. Uh, also, in order to do this, you need to make sure that you have the Astro File Manager um, downloaded and installed. Uh, once again, both those applications are available on the Android market. Um, in order to add that shortcut, uh, actually, before we do that, 
you're going to need to download your protocols onto your phone. Um, and you can do this by opening up your web browser, going to your county EMS or whoever provides the protocols at uh, their website. Uh, select the file and download it, and that will automatically place it into your download folder uh, unless you have your settings set to put it somewhere else. And then uh, we'll access it from there. So we're going to press and hold on our EMS screen. And then we're going to select shortcuts. Once this comes up, now we're going to click this uh, icon here that says Astro. That's the Astro file manager uh, that you should already have installed on your phone. You give this a couple seconds to load. Or more. Okay. So. I believe I am already in my download folder here because these all look like applications that I've downloaded. Let me scroll down here. Okay, you can see we have the protocols right there. Um, we're going to click on that. Uh, it'll give you an option if you want to change the name of your protocols, uh, shortcut. Uh, Sometimes the file name may be really long, and if you want to shorten it down to something simple as protocols or whatever you want, you can do that there, and it won't affect the file. Uh, you just click OK when you're done, and then there you go. You have the icon on your desktop. Uh, you can move this wherever you want, and then anytime you need to access it, you just hit it, and then bam, it's right there. Really handy, really cool. Uh, I do know that there are some applications out there uh, that are being developed by individuals um, that are a little better than just opening up a PDF folder and being able to scroll through. Uh, that's something you might be able to search on your uh, th through the Android market and see if that's available um, for your county. Uh, for, for mine, it's not, so that's why I came up with this. Okay, uh, the next thing that I like to do is uh, frequently there's websites that I like to reference um, where I work I currently reference the California Highway Patrol website to uh, get information on traffic accidents or road closures so if we're going on long, long distance transfers or um, responding to an accident and I want some more information on it uh, I can go to their website to look that up so basically what I do is I open up the uh, web browser I already have the site open here. This is the CHP Traffic, in traffic Incident Information page. Uh, and this lists all the traffic incidents currently happening in my area. Um, and then you just select the bookmark icon. Uh, I already have that bookmark there, so I'm not actually going to do it. But if I wanted to, I would just select this thing here that says Add. And then it will automatically add it. So we're going to scroll back to our EMS screen and now we're going to add that shortcut to the desktop so that whenever I need to open it rather than having to open the browser and type in the URL I can just open up the website directly and uh, you can do this with your county EMS website with uh, what whatever you can find that would be handy so we're going to press and hold on the screen just like we did for our protocols and we're going to click on shortcuts wait for that to open up now we're gonna go down here to bookmark alright and then I'm just gonna select my CHP traffic incidents and there you go all I gotta do is select that open it right up and then it shows all the incidents that are happening in my area actually not my area cuz oh no there we go or in my area. Okay, so now we're back to the screen. Um, you can add as many bookmarks as you want. Um, I would try and save space, being that there's a whole bunch of different applications out there that you could be adding. So uh, you might want to be careful with what you put on there. You don't want to run out of space. Um, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, um, uh, if you install the Helix launcher, 
you can actually add more screens so if you wanted you could have two or three or four EMS screens if you wanted to. Uh, I haven't found a need to have more than just one but as more applications come available that's something that you might be interested in. Anyway this concludes part two of my turning your Android phone into your EMS assistant series. Uh, please check back to the website for more tutorials that will be coming out soon and if you have any questions you can always email me at sean at medicmadness.com or you can find me on Twitter at Sean Eddy. I hope you have a great day and thanks for reading my reviews.